Hello. I'm the Great Cue Ball. And I, for once, am happy. Feel like my life, for what it's worth, is complete. Finally got a job. Nay, at a place that I love to go. I have a girlfriend. A few nice rides, uh, including a bicycle cruiser that I really love. I have more video games than... Goofy has fleas. And I got a lot of friends. But, you know, the struggle was, as you say, real. And, yeah, I had a hard time getting here. So let me start at the beginning. I was born on January 13th, 1986, as Quentin Clarence Kenneth Freoff. That's right, I have two middle names. I was named after Clarence Kisner and Kenneth Mall, my father's grandfather who raised him. I grew up in Torrington, Wyoming until I was 11 years old. True, I was born in Scottsbluff, Nebraska, but only because they have a better hospital there. I grew up with the full family, my mother and father, Lydia and Chester Freoff, and my sister Anne and my brother Chester Jr., or Chet. And, you know, growing up was really hard for me because not only was I different because of my long hair and my the way I looked at the world differently, but because of the fact that I grew up in a troubled neighborhood on the south side of the river in Torrington. At the time, it was pretty bad. And yeah, I have ADHD and Asperger's Syndrome. So, it, that made it even harder for me to get along with people. In the Winter's Eve of 1996, I was in fifth grade at the time. I changed my nickname to Cubalt. It was originally Cubert. My parents gave me that nickname, but it was Cubert, but I changed it to Cubalt. Following the trends of my peers, there was one that went by Fish Sticks, and one that went by Afro. He wasn't even black or had an Afro or a natural or whatever. There was Cerrito, and T, and Big Man, and I was Cubalt. And, you know, it was tough for me. Even then, I only had, like, a fistful of friends amongst my peers who would stick up for me. Other than that, they all pretty much razzed on me. On August 15th, 1997, I moved to Laramie, Wyoming, because my father acquired a job at Wyotech one year earlier. But my hard-knock life was even tougher because no one knew who the hell I was, and I was treated no better than my old peers in Torrington. I still had the same problems. My long hair and my... My, uh... ADHD and all that. It was still hard growing up because I was the new kid on the block. And yeah, they would make fun of me. Make fun of my name, call me Q-Tip, Queer Bitch, and all that shit. And, you know, the next school year I became a teenager, and that's when I began my social development in life. Mainly because most of my friends were teachers and counselors and all that, but, you know, they understood who I was and appreciated my point of view. They also stood up for me in my time of need, which was all very good. And a little bit and by bit, people started seeing who I was and beginning to understand, but a lot of them still didn't care. In 2002, when I was in high school, I came from cue ball to the great cue ball, and there were many variants and a suffix of that. I was the great cue ball of the Laramie dynasty originally, 
And then there was so much others, like the Great Cue Ball, the Blue Funk Forest, but it got so confusing, so I just, over the years, I just made it the Great Cue Ball. Simple. And then, you know, in 2004, I graduated Laramie High School, and at that time, I was off my medication for my ADHD, and it was very hard for me to think straight and stay on the straight and narrow, and my social calamities got worse because I was being real, real Nimrod. And this is go. it progressively went down, and I started trying to make myself a better person. In 2006 and 2007, I started collecting my video games, and, you know, I got curious about some of the classics, and one thing led to another. And in the latter year, 2007, I became a plasma donor, and that's a very th good thing to be. Uh, not only does it make money, but I save lives. I mean, what's not the love? And, you know... At this time, I made a few good friends and became more social, and some of my peers that gave me a hard time in my adolescence befriended me, and I started to become more accepted in the city as one of their own. It was a struggle, I tell you what. So, in 2009, I started studying at Laramie County Community College, of course, the Albany County campus since the main college is headquartered in Cheyenne. Uh, I was studying for my associate's degree in uh, computer information systems. My fear of my failure is what motivated me to study hard and make notes. Believe me, I was so scared of screwing up. And you know how hard it was for me to get along with people and be all social and all that stuff. I just didn't want to get into trouble like I did in my youth. Because I was different. But, you know, I made a lot of friends there. I even formed study groups and eventually led them. And we studied our asses off and really made the high marks. At least I did. It was a good time for me. When I was in college, I learned so much more than what was in the classroom, amongst my other lessons in life. I became more cultivated and intelligent than I ever dreamed of being. And, yeah, I made a lot of friends, especially when I joined Facebook in 2011. Yeah, and there were a lot of hard times there, I mean... I had a friend in high school who uh, wasn't really a friend of mine, and he w I tried to help him, and he would just take advantage of me, and not only that, try and freaking shorthand the very shirt off my back. The guy was a real puke stain, so I had to drop ties with him in 2011, so, and that's a whole nother story, so... In 2012, I graduated with my degree and another degree. I have Cisco Certified Networking Associate. Eh, whatever. It's another computer degree. And after graduating, I had a few jobs in my belt. I worked at the Pedal House, a bike shop in Laramie, one of the best ever. Really good place. Then I worked at another place that I'd rather not talk about, and then I eventually wound up at 8 Bytes a Game Cafe, where you can play arcade games or whatever you fancy. You could even bring your magic cards and play there. Really cool place. I work there today, and I couldn't be happier, you know? I work at a place where I'm with my peers, and we all share the same interests for what little we have and I'm accepted and my thoughts are actually put into motion. My ideas are considered. And I have a lot of friends in this city. The whole city practically loves me. And I feel like I've come a long way from moving here and 
It's just... I feel like I've got it made, finally. I'm happy with myself. And believe me, there were a lot of naysayers along the way. Some are still trying to ridicule me to this day, a few here and there. But... I don't let that get to me. You know what I do? I just brush it off my shoulder and stay the course because if I'm doing what I love and it makes me happy and I have a job that makes me happy too, what's not to love? I finally feel like my life is completed and for what it's worth I might be in the paramount moment of my life, the very prime. But, you know how it goes. I don't feel like I've peaked just yet. I mean, after all, i still got a lot of living to do. A lot of loving to do. And, still got a lot of friends to make. A lot of video games to collect. <laughs> You know, not too long ago, the Nintendo Switch came out, and I didn't get it because the pre-orders were full, but I'm going to take my sweet time to get it. You know, the world don't spin to the beat of one drum. I've learned a lot of other lessons in this life. So, now you know who I am. Who I was, who I have become, possibly who I want to be. And if that's pathetic, then that's your opinion, I'm afraid. I'm the great cue ball. For once, I'm happy.